Sea-Doo has unveiled its 2022 model range ahead of showroom arrivals in late 2021. In this video, we will show you the three new Sea-Doo Fish Pro models, updates to the high-performance RX PX300, RX TX300, GTX Limited 300, and Wake Pro 230, and we'll show you the minor color changes coming to the Spark Tricks. We'll also take a look at the exciting new Sea-Doo Switch, a series of tri-hull pontoons powered by Sea-Doo jet power, available with platforms of different sizes and with endless configurations. And we'll find out if and when the Sea-Doo Switch is coming to Australia. Sea-Doo plans to corner the fishing market in the personal watercraft category, now with three dedicated fishing models before rivals have launched their first. A new entry model called the Sea-Doo Fish Pro Scout starts from $19,609 not including trailer and registration. It's based on Sea-Doo's mid-size GTI series and lacks the rear deck extension and side step protection of its bigger brothers. However, it's available with a 51 litre cooler box, a navigation unit and a slow trolling mode. With a modest 130 horsepower 1630cc three-cylinder, the Sea-Doo Fish Pro Scout is designed to maintain an accessible entry price. That said, its starting price is more than the larger original Sea-Doo Fish Pro that created the category in 2019. Meanwhile, the Sea-Doo Fish Pro as we've known it until today is now called the Sea-Doo Fish Pro Sport. It carries over the same blue and white colour scheme, standard accessories and engine as the 2021 model. With a 170 horsepower 1630cc three-cylinder paired to a 70 litre petrol tank, the Sea-Doo Fish Pro Sport is one of the most economical full-size personal watercraft in the market and with the longest theoretical range. Riders can now carry more gear thanks to an optional bracket that increases the capacity of the link attachment system on the rear deck. Reflecting sharp price rises amid a surge in demand and limited supply, the Fish Pro Sport has risen in price by at least $2,000 to start from $22,709, excluding trailer and registration, and before options such as speakers and debris removal tech are added. New for 2022 is the flagship Sea-Doo Fish Pro Trophy Edition, which has a bold shark grey and bright orange colour scheme. It's available with a detachable swivel seat, which is an optional extra, even on this top of the range model. And there's an optional claw anchor and holster. There are also twin batteries to run accessories, such as a water pump that can transform the 51 litre cooler box into a live well. All three Sea-Doo models are available with optional debris removal tech. However, the rollout of the system in early 2021 was hampered by faults that left some watercraft stuck in neutral and some owners stranded. Sea-Doo says it has made running changes to improve reliability. Dealers are also undertaking lengthy checks of the system before customers take delivery. A finishing touch on the Fish Pro Trophy, the digital widescreen colour display which was previously only available on the GTX Limited 300. While Sea-Doo is yet to introduce a supercharged Fish Pro, the accessories can be bought separately and fitted to high performance models based on the same deck and hull. Sea-Doo's supercharged performance flagships, the RX PX300, which was new for 2021, and the RX TX300, which was new from 2018, will be available in black for the first time while yellow carries over from 2021. The RXT and the RXP also gain the colour widescreen instrument display. The Sea-Doo Wake Pro 230 also gets the updated instruments. Prices at the top of the 2022 Sea-Doo range have reached new heights. The race-bred RX PX300 now costs from $27,409, excluding trailer and registration. The flagship RX TX300 now costs from $29,209, while the GTX Limited 300 now costs $29,909. The GTX Limited 300 has two new colours for 2022, available in black or a metallic finish. These prices make the top-end Sea-Doo's among the dearest personal watercraft on sale today. Other supercharged models such as the GTR 230 and Wake Pro 230 have also had a price bump. 
Even Sea-Doo's budget priced Spark and Spark Tricks models have had a price rise. It's worth noting these prices don't include options, a trailer or registration. Providing there are no production or shipping delays, the 2022 Sea-Doo models are due to arrive in Australia in time for summer. Watercraft Zone has been told initial allocations of 2022 Sea-Doo models sent to Australia will be limited. Sea-Doo dealers in Australia reported receiving orders within hours of the 2022 models being unveiled in the US. The other big news from the 2022 Sea-Doo model rollout is the all-new Sea-Doo Switch series. The Sea-Doo Switch is a tri-hull pontoon powered by Sea-Doo jet power. The platforms are available in three lengths with endless configurations. There are 13 foot, 18 foot and 21 foot models. Power options include 100 horsepower, 130 horsepower or 170 horsepower from non-supercharged three-cylinder engines, while some models are available with supercharged 230 horsepower outputs. Prices in the US range from about $20,000 to $50,000 in round numbers, with a few options added. For now, the sea Switch is exclusive to the US market, at least for the first year, as production ramps up amid expected high demand. Early estimates on Australian pricing peg the sea Switch anywhere from $30,000 to $70,000, depending on the model. Because of its unique hull, the Switch comes with a specially designed trailer made by sea -Doo. Sea-Doo dealers in Australia have already started to receive inquiries about the Sea-Doo Switch. However, it likely won't be sold here until 2023 at the earliest. In addition to the flexibility and ease of use, the Switch uses Sea-Doo watercraft forward and reverse trigger controls for easy manoeuvres. And although it steers with handlebars rather than a wheel, the Sea-Doo Switch is classified as a boat. That means, in Australia at least, the expectation is that the Sea-Doo Switch can be used where jet skis cannot, including on Sydney Harbour. For now, the Sea-Doo Switch is exclusive to the North American market, but judging by the interest so far, it could join the Sea-Doo range in Australia in the next year or so. For more information about the 2022 Sea-Doo range, go to watercraftzone.com.au. Please hit like if you've enjoyed this video and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any future updates.